Hello everyone. So today in this generated grass system, I am going to improve our material to make the grass in the distance look more thicker. So here you can see the this is what we are going to change. Here this is the original material we had. It looks like this, and with the updated material, it's gonna look like this. So here the difference is going to be we are going to uh, make the grass in the distance look more wider then because of that it uh, covers more ground and it appears more dense in the distance uh, and but still in the close range we have these tiny details so here is the difference again and also it helps us with uh, avoiding this aliasing effect that we get uh, with the current uh, grass mesh that we have so basically this is uh, we get this alias in because this is a generated so a single generated mesh and it does not have any LOD or anything else to prevent this alias in effect so it's go, this uh, material is going to help with that too uh, so yeah this is what we are going to try today and yeah let's see how to do that this is how it looks in player's perspective And before we get started, I'd like to remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects I have done from the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And you can see all other episodes that I work on this cross generation system. So here you can learn and implement from scratch uh, how the grass blades are generated through the code and how they are applied into the world. So, I'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description below. Okay, so this is what I want to do. So here, you see, uh, in the distance, we see in between grass blades, we see the land on in some black or some darker color. And also you see this noise. So it's like aliasing because here we don't have a LOD system or anything in place because this is just a generated mesh. So in the distance we have very we have very tiny details, so that's why we see this uh, noise-like effect. So what I'm trying to do here is uh, reducing a way to mm, uh, trying a way. What I'm trying to do is. Uh, a way to reduce this noise and also make the grass in the distance more filled so the landscape is more covered from the grass so and in the close range actually I like the way it looks so I want to preserve that but only in the as it goes further away from the camera uh, this problem appears so this method that I'm trying to uh, I'm trying here may not work on any grass because uh, this is uh, because I know how these grass blades are generated and how the texture coordinates and everything is laid out through the through the uh, code I wrote but you I'm not sure if you can apply the same method directly uh, in the same way I do here but still you can get the idea and you can apply it accordingly all right so here this is the uh, material that i have used right now if i open it it's a fairly simple material we have this grass wind part and also we have this uh, two colors that's to get this uh, yellow shade and the tip of the grass so that's all we have right now now first let me duplicate this grass material because I want to keep the original version intact let's call it um, distance fix and I'll create a material instance from that and apply to the current glass so right now 
there are no changes here so this let me open this because it's same as the previous material it's just a duplicate so we don't see anything so this part is only relevant for wind and here now this mask g we used it to get a value changing from bottom to top from uh, black to white so if in the same way if i mask if i do a component mask with r and g i should get something that is changing horizontally in the horizontal plane so if i want to demonstrate that well let me review this node and make it a plane so here you see how it changes but if you want to see that in the grass itself i can try this let me temporarily make this unlit and connect this to the msu color now you see it changes this you can see this uh, this side is green and this side becomes red so that's yeah that's basically what I meant okay now let me revert it back and stop reviewing this and here if I multiply this with some value value and so this is a vector 2 and this uh, where position offset is a vector 3 so we can't add these two together let me show if i try to do that we get an error okay so i will uh, uh, break the two components and here make the and connect these two now we don't have that error anymore okay right uh, now if I apply this oh, why is this still only now if I apply this you see there is a wait no we still don't see much of a difference here but if I increase this let's say 20 and apply now you see the bottom part has become more thicker so this is the property I want to use but in close range I don't really need them to be thicker they need to be thick only when they go further away so how do we do that so here instead of uh, multiplying with the constant let's get the pixel depth so this basically gives us uh, the distance from the camera to the pixel that is being rendered but if i preview this so it's see it's basically very wide because we always get something larger than well in the very close range we would get something in between zero and one but more than that we get something larger than uh, one because obviously because it's further away and we get it in unreal unit set so i'll multiply this it's something like 0 0.01 and if I preview this I preview this right now 
only when it goes further it becomes emissive white but here it looks reasonably darker so but uh, when I go too, far, go too further away this should become a very large value we don't need that as well so let's clamp this something like in between 0 and 100 and multiply and apply now here you see we don't have very thick grasses in the close range but in the further range in further now we have we uh, the noise and the fill noise is much reduced and the further away it feels much filled to compare this let me select this again this is the original grass we had I apply that you see this is how it looks why is it become darker okay this is how it looks this is original material and if I apply this now you see the it now you can see the change all right now here in this I promote these two variables parameters mm. distance multiply I set the default value to 0 0.01 but this should be max let's say this okay and here uh, this one also let's promote a parameter mm. thickness max I don't have a better name and default value 100 Okay, now here, yeah, this is in the, this instance, so we can try playing with these values and see how it changes. Let's try 200. Here, yeah, if I reduce this, then I can increase this. You can see how it changes. I think this value is better. And point one is better. Okay, because if I put 0 0.001, it again looks like the initial material we already had. So 0 0.1 looks better. And this, you don't really see much of a difference here without changing this. Okay, okay anyway, now you know. So. I think it's good to stop this episode right here and you should note that this is not the complete solution this would be a part of solution for the issues that we might need to resolve for example here we have a in the distance you see now that a smooth blend that we had is somewhat gone but if we go closer it's still there so you can see how the grass fades into the road as they become shorter to in the less fertile part of the uh, landscape and these things are still there but in the distance they are not much visible okay
and this is how we see through player's perspective. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And feel free to let me know what you guys think about this series. Your suggestions, comments, issues you face. So I'll address them in the future. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.